Analysis of Mineral Water In this experiment, you will be analyzing hard water using a complex symmetric titration. You may have seen jokes on the internet about students answering what is hard water with ice, but as clever as that is, it's not quite accurate. Hard water is simply water which has dissolved calcium and magnesium. This happens by creeks, streams, and rivers running over rocks and ground rich with these elements, and, with time, they get dissolved into the water in significant amounts. Soap tends not to lather well in hard water, and it leaves behind a residue in pipes, what we call lime scale. Many companies, such as San Pellegrino, market and sell this water due to the source of nutrition that comes from the dissolved minerals. In this experiment, we shall be testing a bottle of this mineral water to see if the values that they are reporting are actually in each bottle of San Pellegrino water. In this experiment, we will be using EDTA, ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. EDTA is a classic example of a chelating agent. It forms a complex with calcium and magnesium. When chelating agents are used in a titration, it is called a complexometric titration. The word chelate comes from the Greek word for claw-like. They are claw-like because the chelating agents have lone pairs of electrons that bond with divalent metal ions, such as calcium and magnesium. If you remember, divalent means that it has a valence of two, hence divalent. These divalent metal electrons form very stable complexes with chelating agents. Again, when using a chelating agent in a titration with metal ions, it is called a complexometric titration. Part A. The determination of calcium concentration. Firstly, we will be removing magnesium from the equation by adding diethylamine, which will precipitate out the magnesium in the form of magnesium hydroxide. Then, we will titrate the degassed mineral water with standard EDTA solution. We will be adding the indicator calmagite, which turns from pink to blue at its endpoint. As you can see from this balanced equation, the moles of calcium are equal to the moles of the EDTA, so therefore it has a one-to-one -one stoichiometric ratio. Don't forget to add the diethylamine. Part B, the determination of calcium and magnesium concentration. This time, we will be titrating the hard water aliquot with standard EDTA solution and adding the indicator silicon black tea. Note, we will not be precipitating out magnesium hydroxide. Again, this will turn from reddish pink to blue at the endpoint. Note that both magnesium and calcium have a one-to-one -one ratio with EDTA. Therefore, the moles of both magnesium and calcium will equal the moles of EDTA. Don't forget to add the ammonia buffer. Note that we will be having 10 milliliters of hard water one milliliter of ammonia, and we'll be titrating for both calcium and magnesium. Calculations. Note that you will be diluting the EDTA, so don't forget your C1V1 equals C2V2 equation. Part A will have given you the amount of calcium ions, and part B will give you the amount of both magnesium and calcium. Therefore, to determine the amount of magnesium alone, you would simply take your value from part B and subtract your value from part A. As you should remember, in part A, we remove magnesium from the equation. Therefore, the moles of EDTA and the moles of calcium were equal. They had a one-to-one -one stoichiometric ratio. From this calculation, you should be able to see how we can easily convert volume of EDTA to moles of EDTA, 
and then use the mole bridge to convert EDTA to moles of calcium. In Part B, we did not remove magnesium. Therefore, the moles of EDTA were equal to the moles of both magnesium and calcium combined. Using the same logic, you should be able to see how you can calculate moles of magnesium and calcium. Now simply to find the moles of magnesium alone, we subtract the answer from part A from the answer of part B, therefore leaving moles of magnesium. Don't forget to convert your volume from milliliters to liters, as otherwise the conversions will not work. And that's everything. As always, good luck and have fun!